Hello again and welcome back to the channel. So, the reason I'm doing this one is because, like, I don't even know if you can see me, I think I'm sat in a little bit dark there. Try that. So the reason I'm doing this video is because the, I keep saying on videos that I haven't had time to film things one thing or another because I've been busy. This time I wanted to show you why I'm busy and kind of the other things that's going on that you don't see on the normal JDM channel. So today, this is my friend's uh, T4 transporter van and what we're doing with this is he wants a, a, a new sound system in it ultimately. So we've got two new amps, new subwoofer, um, the speakers we're keeping that he's already got in it because he's got some nice vibes in it which I'll show you. Um, so we're kind of doing this today. So I kind of want to show you everything else that goes on in here that keeps me away from the Jap cars at the moment. So if you can do that, give you a bit of understanding of what else goes on, then you can excuse me a little bit in the future. So right now, if I get the torch down, this is what we've got under the back seat. Now uh, we've got two vibes mounted in this board, which would normally sit like that. Um, the built-in sub and amp thing there, which is like an under seat design one. An old amp there, which I think is the one that's in protection at the moment, and a sub in that box there. Um, these are running through um, those at the moment, which we've got tweeters up in the roof, and one thing and another. So the idea is with this is that we start again with it. Uh, and I've said to him, I've said that the best way to do it is to let me kind of take, take charge of it and do it my way, because I don't know who's done this. I think it was um, the owner or maybe a friend or something like that. But he'll tell you himself, he's no he's not really done it before and i've done quite a few audio builds so what i want to do is try to redo this for him make it all right and make it all better so i thought why not pick up the camera put it on the channel and bring you along with me so if you're reading this and thinking why is this on the jdm channel that's why so you've got your answers now but t4 audio build let's get started by taking all the old stuff out Okay, so I've got all the old stuff out of the van now. There's nothing under there now. Ripped all the wiring out, ripped all the um, amps out, the sub out. That was what was in there. That's an uh, old American legacy amp. Um, all that out, get the new stuff in, and go from there. Okay, so this is what we're going to run in the T4. Take all that old stuff out and run this, but this is the kind of cable we want in it, not what was running it for, which I really don't want to show you. Um, that's power, power and ground cable to run 3,000 watts of amps. Um, sub to run on there, on the mono amp, distribution block, fuse block, and obviously all the usual bits and pieces. And this is what I'm going to use to run from the amp to the sub, and then work out all the speaker cable as I go for the four channel, and then go down that route. So let's get on. Okay, so this is where we're at now. We've swapped over the sub, we've got the old one out. Uh, don't know if it works, doesn't matter, it's off in the bin. New one in. And what I do know is that was 500 watt maximum. This is 2000 watt maximum, so that's way better. We've upgraded the cable as well. And speaking of cable, we've run a whole new loom to the front, which goes, ignore the little red wire that's coming out, goes all the way up to the head unit and to the remote for the mono amp that's going to run that. Um, so that's kind of where we are at the moment. Keep going, onwards to the next bit. Okay, so this is where we're at now, just as an update. Uh, you have to ignore the noise, he's working on the prelude at the same time. So, we've now run the big power cable that goes straight from there, straight up there, into the cupboard behind the fridge, up and along, and basically pops out right down there, where you can see. Um, sub is now mounted in the box, which had to be shaved slightly, but just to get it between that bar and that bar. But it's now in, it's done, it works. Um, now we've just got to make a little rack for both amps on that right hand side there. Sit them under there, wire everything up. We've got all the looms ran. We've got the speaker wire to just get tomorrow because it's like evening time now. Get all those put together and then we could actually be somewhere near out of the woods. Um, so, wish us luck. Okay, so quick update. Last night we managed to make a little rack for both amps to sit on there. Uh, between then and now, just got most of the wiring in, the distribution blocks in, most of that's in, all the speaker wires ready. Uh, we need one more speaker wire to tap off to the front driver's door from there. Um, other than that, everything is almost in, so we're kind of ready to go once the speaker wire comes in. But naturally, we've run out of speaker wire, so he's gone to get some, we'll get some in, and then we're done. Okay, so the T4 audio build is now actually sorted. We have everything running on it, everything set up. Uh, we've been out here for the last sort of half hour, hour or so, getting everything just so. Um, 
we believe now we've found everything for the sweet spot so I'm going to show you what it's like um, just letting the amps cool down a little bit because they've been really hot for the last sort of half hour or so um, but they're handling it they haven't struggled at all yet so I'll show you what we're doing let's bring it up and I love this track That's where we're at with it. I hope the camera does it justice because that in person sounds perfect. If there is any sort of sounds that he's talking on the camera, it's purely the random bits and pieces of the van. Um, other than that, it's kind of there. It's actually happy at that. The amps are happy, all the speakers are happier. Everything's kind of at its point just before it'll start distorting, just before it'll start to sound really weird. So I, I think I've met, I've met the criteria that I was asked to do. I was asked to get it to a point where you could hear it nicely in the van and nicely if you were sat on the side of it because it is a camper at the end of the day so we kind of wanted to find the best of both so that's what we've built that's where it's at and the guy's really happy with it so i can't say fairer than that um again this is really weird to have on a jdm channel but this is like i said this is what i do as well so i kind of wanted to cover all aspects of it and show you why i'm always busy and why you don't get daily content on jdm stuff so Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you don't mind. And I'll kind of keep showing you all the random stuff that I do as well as the random JDM stuff. So drop a like if you like it. See you soon.